हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज वेलोसिटी एवरेज वेलोसिटी एंड यूनिफॉर्म वेलोसिटी वी वुड बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग ईच वन ऑफ दम सेपरेटली विद द हेल्प ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स आई होप यू हैव वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियो फॉर द टॉपिक मोशन इफ यू हैव एंड वॉच दैम द लिंक्स आर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स काइंडली वॉच दैम फर्स्ट एंड देन कम बैक टू दिस वीडियो टू अंडरस्टैंड इट मोर नाइसली कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वेलोसिटी नाउ वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड सबसे पहले हमको ये समझना है कि वेलोसिटी होती क्या है इफ यू हैव लर्न स्पीड इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड स्पीड देन इट वुड बी वेरी ईजी फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड वेलोसिटी इन स्पीड आई एक्सप्लेन दैट स्पीड इज इक्वल्स टू डिस्टेंस अपॉन टाइम राइट नाउ इन वेलोसिटी वेलोसिटी इज द Displacement of the object in unit time is called as velocity of the object. Distance और displacement word जो है इनको भी मैंने एक separate video में explain करा है First video of the chapter. Kindly go through it if you don't understand the meaning of distance and displacement. तो so, velocity क्या कहती है कि body का कितना displacement हो रहा है Displacement you all understand? Final position minus initial position. and in how much time period is called as the velocity of the object so velocity always deals with displacement jahan jahan pe aapko word velocity aata hai sabse pehli cheez aapko click honi chahiye wo hai ki displacement pata hona chahiye humko second thing it is a vector quantity vector and scalar bhi main samjha chuki hu pehle ek video ke andar vector means you need to know the direction right and the si unit is meter per second for the concept of velocity and sometimes you can for practical uses you can use centimeter per second or kilometer per hour are are also used but generally meter per second is the unit of velocity understood this concept now let's derive a formula for it velocity is equals to displacement divided by time taken for the displacement very simple in short form if you want to write it same as the speed formula that is symbol is same as the speed s is displacement here and uh, t is the time taken for the displacement understood if we have to compare velocity with speed then velocity uh, velocity you have understood displacement upon time and speed is equals to distance upon time That is the major difference. Speed जो होती है वो distance पर depend करती है and velocity जो है वो displacement पर depend होती है Fine. Be aware that all the bodies in uh, generally in life are performing non-uniform motion. So velocity will change definitely, right? Velocity will definitely change because uniform motion में तो है ही नहीं body generally. Uh, Non-uniform motion में ही body travel करती है So in such circumstances to study the motion of the object a uh, average velocity concept was developed what is average velocity ratio of total displacement how much total displacement has been taken place of an object to total time taken same as average speed agar aapne average speed samjha hai pichle video mein to aapko ye bahut easy lagega same similar videos topics hai ratio of total displacement of the object to total time taken for the displacement is known as average velocity now how do you write or denote average velocity symbol of uh, velocity you know that and just write in the subscript av av denotes average or you can write it as in the brackets also or as simple also fine now to understand this concept let us uh, understand it with the help of a simple example this is the path a body travels if i say a body is at x1 position in time t1 i am again repeating body is at x1 position in time t1 it reaches to point x2 in time t2 understood this concept ek body hai jo initial uska point hai x1 t1 time period pe और वो फाइनल पॉइंट है उसका x2 t2 टाइम पीरियड पे वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ व्हाट इज द 
difference between x2 and x1 called as delta x right if you need need to find out the uh, the displacement at how much the body has displaced and how much difference of time period is how will it we will calculate final time minus initial time that is t2 minus t1 let's understand that is delta t the question says or the uh, how we need to understand how to calculate the average velocity if object is at x1 and x2 at time t1 and t2 respectively displacement will be calculated as delta x is equals to x2 minus x1 same displacement kaise calculate karte hain final position minus initial position final position kya hai our body ki x2 aur initial position kya thi x1 so x2 minus x1 is the displacement upon total time total time kitna laga hai body ko total uh, final time minus initial time that is t2 minus t1 so velocity av average velocity is is equals to delta x by delta t just by substituting the values if the question is given like this where x1 x2 t1 t2 values are given are given and you need to find out the average velocity just put a simple formula v average is equals to x2 minus x1 upon t2 minus t1 you will get the average velocity now let's understand it with the help of a simple example a train takes 2 hours to reach vadodara to ahmedabad ek train hai jo vadodara se ahmedabad jati hai kitne hours mein 2 hours mein the same train takes 3 hours while coming back to the ahmedabad jab wo wapas return hoti hai vadodara se ahmedabad ke liye how much time it takes 3 hours so t1 is equals to 2 hours t2 is equals to 3 hours डिस्टेंस बिटवीन अहमदाबाद एंड वडोदरा इज हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स तो चाहे वो ट्रेन वडोदरा से अहमदाबाद जाए या अहमदाबाद से वडोदरा आए वापस डिस्टेंस तो सेम ही रहने वाला है दैट इज हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स राइट बट इधर इन दिस क्वेश्चन टू टाइम्स अ ट्रेन हैज ट्रेवल्ड सो वी विल वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट डिस्टेंस टॉइस द क्वेश्चन से इज कैलकुलेट द एवरेज स्पीड एंड एवरेज वेलासिटी ऑफ द ट्रेन सो सबसे पहले क्वेश्चन एक न्यूमेरिकल को सॉल्व करने की ट्रिक है वॉट एवर थिंग्स आर गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन जस्ट नोट डाउन द ऑब्जर्वेशन फर्स्ट हाउ विल बी ऑब्जर्व दैट टोटल डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाय द ट्रेन हाउ इज टोटल डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल टोटल डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल इज वन फॉर वन वे एट इज हंड्रेड एंड बाई कमिंग बैक इट इज ऑल्सो हंड्रेड सो टोटल डिस्टेंस कम्स आउट टू बी टू हंड्रेड किलोमीटर इज इट क्लियर दो बार हमने उन्होंने हंड्रेड क्यों लिया बिकॉज एक बार तो ट्रेन जा रही है वडोदरा से अहमदाबाद और सेकेंड टाइम वो ट्रेन वापस से आ रही है अहमदाबाद से वडोदरा सो हंड्रेड प्लस हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स सेकेंड थिंग टोटल डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द ट्रेन नाउ इफ यू नो द डिस्प्लेसमेंट मीनिंग डिस्प्लेसमेंट मीन्स इनिश फाइनल पोजिशन माइनस इनिशियल पोजिशन जब ट्रेन जहाँ से स्टार्ट हुई थी अहमदाबाद वडोदरा टू अहमदाबाद एंड देन इट कम्स बैक टू अहमदाबाद अगेन दैट मीन्स इट इज कमिंग बैक टू द इनिशियल पॉइंट ओनली दैट मीन्स द डिसप्लेसमेंट इज जीरो मीटर वाई इट इज जीरो मीटर बिकॉज इट एज द ट्रेन कम्स बैक टू इट्स ओरिजिनल पोजिशन अगर ट्रेन नहीं आती वापस सेम पोजिशन पर तो हम डिसप्लेसमेंट कैलकुलेट कर सकते थे इसके अंदर लेकिन क्वेश्चन में ऑलरेडी गेविन है कि सेम ट्रेन वापस से रिटर्न बैक हो गई है right that right so that means displacement is zero because final position or initial position same hai second and the last thing which is given in the question is time period total time period is 2 hours and 3 hours so total is equals to 5 hours so ye question ki observations hain jo humko question mein given hai right now let's start solving by putting it in the formula so in our next sheet uh, let's uh, have the values on the top these are the same values which we have calculated in our previous slide let's start substituting the values average speed average speed is equals to total distance travel by train upon time period so total distance already given hai hamare paas question mein humne calculate kar liya hai hamari observations mein pehle that is 200 upon 5 hours is equals to 40 km per hour is the average speed 
fine kilometer per hour means kilometer is for the distance and uh, time period is given in hour that's why the unit is kilometer per hour fine let's calculate average velocity of the train just now only i explained the formula of average velocity displacement of the train upon time period right so in our observations let's find out what is the total displacement 0 meter so 0 upon 5 hours is equals to 0 meter per second is the velocity average velocity of the train i hope the question is clear to all of you if there is any confusion kindly ask in the comment section uniform velocity uniform velocity is same as uniform speed if a body velocity of a body in motion remains constant or with time that means ek body hai jo constant le uh, same uh, velocity se move kar rahi hai with time period it is said to be in uniform velocity aur wo kab hoga jab velocity jab direction remains constant but there are few conditions for uniform velocity that speed of the body should be constant body agar speed change ho rahi hai to wo uniform velocity nahi kehlayegi and direction of motion of the body should not change so this was the concept of velocity average velocity and uniform velocity i hope you have understood the concept in our next video we would be understanding acceleration kindly like share and subscribe to the channel thank you and have a nice day